saying, well, you go to war, these are the enemy, this is the enemy, you are, you know, objective to, to, to kill, so what's wrong with doing this? I want you to explain to civilians watching why it is. Sure, and it's, it's a great question that a lot of people, I think, uh, have problems with, um, or at least problems understanding. First of all, it's in the, it's in the uh, Law of War regulations, Geneva Conventions, um, that the bodies of enemy soldiers and combatants are to be respected. Um, why we do that, it's, it's, it, ha it comes down to dehumanization, um, and it's really difficult because at a certain level, soldiers have to be able to kill the enemy. Um, and so they have, they, they, they have to be able to see them as the enemy. However, um, one of the really important roles of a leader in the military, um, leaders manage violence. They're not there to really commit it. Um, mm -hmm. And their job is to keep soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines on the positive side of that line, um, which means that you're able to kill the enemy, um, but you are not, you don't become sort of an amoral um, killing machine that doesn't recognize the humanity of what you're doing. And so um, we respect the bodies of uh, enemy combatants because at that point they're, they're no longer combatants. They're just human beings. And we wouldn't want anyone to treat any human body um, in a way that desecrates it um, or makes fun of it or uses it as a prop um, in the way that, that Hunter has. Um, and I should point out that he was a leader at the time, so that makes it even worse in my mm -hmm. book. 